How about a pivot feed from the second baseman? Most of you are going to teach the flip and follow, right? Here's a couple points on that flip and follow. So now I feel that I, the bag's over here, right? I feel that ball. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my glove to my heart. I'm going to drop the baseball to the inside of my right knee. Not to the outside, to the inside. Step with my left foot and flip. And we're going to keep our wrist firm. Now some of you might say, well, why don't, what's the big deal? Hey, I'm not bowling now, guys. If the longer your arm swing is, the harder it is to control the ball. And I'm flipping the ball with my legs more than I am my arm. What's another pivot feed that a second baseman has to get? So he's got to go one or two steps to his left. One or two steps to his left, he's going to field it, he's going to pivot. That's all he's going to do. So we call that, obviously, the pivot feed. When he goes maybe four or five steps to his left, so now he's going in the four hole, he's going to field it, now he's going to use a quarter turn. Quarter turn. We used to go half turn. We don't need to go half turn now. It's a quarter turn, so I'm going to field the ball, quarter turn. Chest up to your shortstop. Those are the only three that we work on. I guess you could talk about that one that really pulls you into the four hole, and then you use a reverse pivot. But when that ball pulls us into the four hole, you know what I tell my second baseman to do? Get the guy out at first. Just get him out. Get him out at first. Short stops. Short stops, so if I'm over here taking a throw from the second baseman, I'm behind the base, right? I haven't touched the base yet. I'm taking my left foot to the catch. I've caught the ball. I haven't touched the base yet. Now I have. As I pivot and pop my hips, I kick the corner of the bag with my right foot. So I start behind the base. I'm in an athletic position. He gives me a good play, a good throw. I hear he's not on a second yet. Now he is. And then I deliver the throw. That's the only pivot that a shortstop I guess the other one we talk about is when he gets a ball from the pitcher or the catcher or possibly the first baseman in front of the bag. Now he's going to work the inside part of the bag and not the outside. What about the pivot feeds for the shortstop? All right, same thing on your flip and follow. I'm going to field it, get my glove out of the way, I'm going to drop my hand to the inside, not to the outside, to the inside, and then step and flip. And then if the ball takes him a couple steps to his right, He's going to pivot and throw. If the ball takes him three or four or five steps to his right, he's going to drop, step, and throw. Not a big one. Drop, step, and throw. That's one of the few times, again, that he's slightly got a little bit of action going toward the outfield and not toward his target. So there's a lot of different things you can do to work on those pivot feeds and those pivots for your middle infielders.